Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we have to understand the structure of chloroplast in detail. Because now we know that photosynthesis will take place only in the green part. Why? Because the green part will have chlorophyll present inside the chloroplast. So let us try to see the structure of a chloroplast. Then we can say where inside the chloroplast photosynthesis take place right now we know photosynthesis take place in plants in plants it take place in the green parts when you talk about green parts you mean that inside the plant cell you have a structure called chloroplast which has a chlorophyll pigment so in the chloroplast it takes place but where exactly in chloroplast for that we need to understand the structure of chloroplast maybe many of you already know the structure of chloroplast but still for just to help you recall and discuss the structure once again. As I said chloroplast is a double membrane bound structure so there are two membranes one is the outer membrane and the next one is the inner membrane. So this is how a chloroplast look like. So this is the outer membrane, this is outer membrane and this is inner membrane. That is why it is called a double membrane bound structure. So this membrane system helps to trap solar energy. As I said that the solar energy is trapped by the chloroplast because chlorophyll is present inside chloroplast. Now how this membrane help to absorb solar energy or the light energy that we will see later. It has a matrix called stroma that is a fluid filled structure. So this fluid filled space is stroma. If you see here this entire space. The dark green structure is stroma. What is this? It is a homogeneous proteinaceous fluid. It contains DNA, ribosomes, enzymes. So everything is like dissolved in this fluid like structure. So this is called stroma. Now stroma is the place where all the enzymatic reactions take place. In fact the synthesis of sugar also takes place in stroma. When I say synthesis of sugar from the equation of photosynthesis you remember reduction of carbon dioxide to form sugar. So that part of photosynthesis will take place in stroma. So we can say stroma is the place where sugar synthesis when i say sugar synthesis i mean reduction of carbon dioxide to glucose so that part of photosynthesis will take place in stroma now thylakoids are present in stroma what are thylakoids you can see there are some structures which appear like stack of coins placed one above the other see some coin like structure one two three they are placed one above the other so they are known as thylakoids these structures are called thylakoids and these thylakoids are present in the stroma because stroma is like the fluid which fills the entire space and all other structures are embedded in stroma so what are thylakoids these are membranous sacs so these thylakoids also have membranes like this some membranes and they are arranged in stacks as you can see very similar to how coins can be placed one above the other. They are also termed as granule thylakoids. Why they are called granule thylakoids? Because this entire stack of thylakoid is known as granum or grana. Plural of granum is grana. So the two most important part of a chloroplast is stroma and grana. So grana are nothing but the pile of thylakoids together is known as grana and each of these coin like structure is called a thylakoid. So thylakoids are the structures which contain the pigment chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is present in all these structures. So these are all thylakoids. So chlorophyll are present here. So there is no chlorophyll in the stroma but chlorophyll is present in the thylakoids. So all of you should know where exactly in chloroplast chlorophyll is present. So chlorophyll is present in the thylakoids of chloroplast. Now stack of thylakoids is known as grana as I mentioned just now. There is another structure called stroma lamellae. So what is stroma lamellae? These are flat tubule like structures which connect the granule thylakoids. So here you can see this is one stack. 
this is another stack. So this is one grana, this is another grana, this is another grana. Now they are connected to each other by tube-like structures called stroma lamella. So here you see this is one stack, this is another stack. They are joined together by this structure. So this structure is known as stroma lamellae. So this is called stroma lamellae. So in simple words, it is something like this. You have a fluid filled space. That space is called stroma. In that stroma, you have stack of coins placed like this. So each of these stacks is called grana and each coin is known as a thylakoid. They are joined together by a structure which is known as stroma laminae. So this is how in simple words, this is how you can remember this. So coins are the thylakoids, stack of coins is the grana, connected together by stroma laminae and the entire fluid filled space is stroma. So these are the important parts of the chloroplast. Now here chlorophyll is present in the coins that is in the thylakoids. The sugar synthesis process of photosynthesis takes place in the stroma. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.